Hej, Erik Poulsen, The Danish American. Uh, vi laver et lille forsøg nu her. Det her rådyr det er skudt for ganske kort tid siden. I kan se skudhullet lige der. Kom fra modsat side ud, udgangshullet. Uh, alle indvolden er i. Og uh, nu vil jeg prøve to pile tilbage fra stenalderen. Det her det er en nøjagtig kopi med gåsefjer. Det er en hasselkæt, og det er en tvær pilespids. Der er godt nok ikke kommet noget på, men den er limet fast med øh, rådyr senere, og så er den limet fast med øh, græn, øh, lim, altså fra, fra græntræerne blandet op med noget, øh, noget, øh, noget, øh, noget trækul, og så lidt, lidt øh, harepøller. Og det her det er sådan en typisk amerikansk pilespids fra indianerne. Det her det er lavet af bambus. Normalt vil de bruge noget, der hedder river cane, men nu skal vi prøve, hvad sådan en pil egentlig kan. Um, I'll say it in English now. This is a uh, copy of an old Scandinavian arrow. This is hazel, hazel not wood. Um, has a, a typical arrowhead from that period and with goose feathers. And this is just like the Native Americans with a flint point. And um, just like river cane, this is bamboo, the same as river cane and turkey feathers. My bow is a, a 50 pound normally people would use uh, a bow around 40 45 maybe 50 for hunting let's see what this these arrows can do on a freshly killed roebuck try the river cane first Sorry. Every time. Went right through. See, I hit it here. The arrow went, went completely, completely through the buck. And look, blood all over the place. That would definitely be a kill shot. So that's how these flint arrowheads, they're razor sharp. And if you make them right, now this is glued on with a, with a pine pitch and it's rodier sinew. So let's try a shot more with this. Now I uh, did not hit a bone. Let's try to see if I can hit a bone this time. Maybe put the shot a little further over, but that way totally through the shoulder blade. Let's try again. This arrow is definitely a kill shot. Double lung went all the way through. The point is still intact. That's how these work. Let's try the old Scandinavian arrow with hazel. See how that works. I never shot this arrow, so uh, bear with me. Went right through. <laughs> Look at here. That clipped the bone here. Went all the way through. There we got the arrow. The the head is still, or the uh, arrow point is still intact. Let me try one more shot. See if I can hit some bone this time. Men prøv lige at lægge mærke til hvor effektivt de her pile er. Man tror ikke at det er effektivt, men i stenalderen med sådan en svær pilspids som det her. Så I kan se, hvordan den der virker. Den skød igennem en gang. Nu sidder den lige der, der har højst sandsynligt klippet et ribben. Uh, nu prøver jeg et skud mere med denne her. Og uh, bindingerne er lavet af rådyrs sener. Så det hele er fuldstændig uh, ligesom i gamle dage. Vi prøver igen. Lige igennem. Simpelthen lige igennem dyret.
Så nu må man ikke bruge de her. You're not allowed to use arrows like this in Denmark. Vi må ikke bruge sådan noget i Danmark. Men uh, jeg er den videnskabelige type. This is for science. So uh, you can see how these arrows perform in a newly shot rodeo. The entrails are still in it. You can see how it's bleeding out here. So let's pull the arrow through, if we can. There we go. Little bitty bitty uh, uh, piece at the point just went off, but the sinew still holds. Look at these two arrows here. Fantastic. Helt utroligt. Men uh, min rådyr, uh, det var meningen, hvis jeg skød et stykke råvildt, så skulle vi gå til noget videnskab. Kødet er stadigvæk fint på den, men jeg er meget, meget interesseret i det her, fordi jeg laver masser af den slags pilespidser. Og det her det er så en skandinavisk tværpilespids med hasselgren og gåsefjer. I kan se, hvor effektivt det er. Uh, Erik Poulsen, the Danish American. Erik Poulsen, the Danish American, uh, saying bye for now. I hope you can use this for something. Jeg håber, I kan bruge det her til et eller andet. Uh, I hvert fald bare, så I ved, hvad sådan nogle kan præstere. Kan I have det godt? Hej hej.